morning you guys i haven't woken up at 6 a.m in about three months but i'm making it my mission to try and get back on track because the cold dark mornings really threw me off the consistency that i stayed through with my 6 a.m morning routine all throughout last year and i am getting it back i'm not gonna lie it's not easy i'm so exhausted right now to top it off I was having one of those dreams just now where it's so vivid and it's so entertaining and when you wake up you remember what it was and you want to quickly go back to sleep to find out what the ending of your dream was because it was basically like a movie. The self-control was next level because I was having such a cozy amazing sleep but it's fine because I know I'm gonna feel good after doing this. I just brushed my teeth, washed my face to try and wake myself up a little bit and then gotta make sure that I stay hydrated and stay on top of my three liters of water a day so that I can take everything off my habit tracker for the day as well as staring at my vision board, which has been a really important part of my morning routines this 2024. It will set me off on the best foot forward to be so motivated because I'm so clear about seeing my goals turn into a reality. I feel so good right now you guys honestly I was so moody when I woke up this morning it's been a long time since I woke up at 6 a.m it was dark it was cold I was uncomfortable I'm so out of like practice and schedule with it it just felt really impossible but I made a commitment and I told myself I had to do it so I did and I was moody all morning but you know what as soon as I stepped out of that shower knowing I had already gone to the gym I had already did my morning routine I'm so happy and now I know the rest of the week I'll be fine because it really just takes the first day. I'm just full glamming now and listening to a podcast as always. I'm listening to the Grace Beverly one today and this episode is about how she is planning to achieve her goals in 2024. We live a good little bit of self-education in the morning. I just find like hearing other people talk about their goals always sets me up for a better day because you know when you're exposed to other people working really hard you're like more in that mindset for the rest of the day but the reason i'm full glamming right now is because i have such a busy day ahead of course i'm only vlogging my morning routine um but with all of my work time blocks for the day i want to get out and just work in a cafe just to maximize my productivity as much as possible i also need to record some tiktoks today and then right at the end of the day i'm meeting my hometown bestie for dinner she's in, in birmingham so since i have to get dressed up for that anyway i'm just going to put on a really nice outfit right now at the beginning of the day just so i'm feeling myself all day i find that when i get fully dressed my productivity is always a lot better as well even the thought of like putting on a cute outfit once i'm done with my makeup is just really exciting me right now it makes all of the difference but i'm gonna finish off with my glam and listen to this podcast and i'll catch up with you guys after it's at home or in a physical planner or wherever on your kitchen floor or to set goals for each so right step five actually keeping it up so with the ghost of you past that set these goals my last favorites. <laughs>
<sighs> Ready for the day, straighten my hair. The glam is looking very cute. I'm feeling myself. Um, today I decided to go for a double denim look. So I'm wearing some new tights to keep myself warm. This white bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing. This little denim mini skirt from Zara. And then this um, oversized denim jacket from Zara also, which is like really thermal and warm, which I love. That's cute. But because I've got white, blue and brown, I'm like, which colored boots should I wear? <laughs> Okay, so nude is a vibe, and it goes with the bag, but I feel like snake looks better, but it doesn't go with the bag. These are my morning dilemmas, you guys. Which boots I should wear? Maybe I should pull out the white boots, or the denim boots. Oh, I don't know. F it, I think we're just gonna go nude. I just need to put my jewelry on, and then we're good to go. Maybe these for earrings. The earrings we're gonna do. Tennis necklace. And last step before we go is to take a little outfit pick of the day as I'll be updating my Instagram stories all day on what I'm up to. This is honestly the longest type of video to plan. Normally I do like a little script on my laptop, but girl talk videos, you guys have sent thousands of questions and I have to go through screenshot every single one so that I can put it on the screen when editing. And then I have to write it up, choose what order I want the questions to go in, choose which chapters I want to put in this TMI girl talk video. Um, and then I have to go through, make it concise, cut out any questions I feel like won't make the cut, otherwise the video is going to be five hours long. Um, so yeah, this is like a two and a half hour work block, but we're getting through it. And you guys have some really good questions. I can't wait to answer these. which means my intermittent fast has started and now I can eat breakfast. I'm so happy I'm getting so much done. I'm so glad that the girl talk um, video plan is done, which means I can actually film it tonight, I feel. Because I just remembered I always film that video at night time, like in my PJs or cozy. So I guess after I go for dinner with my friend tonight, I'm gonna come home to do more work and film as well. I just went downstairs to pick up some parcels that I got delivered, but right now I'm gonna make a green juice, I think for breakfast today. I'm just gonna take my supplements now, but what I like to do when I make a green juice is to pour the supplement powder inside. Starting my day off with my greens. And then while I sip this, I'm just gonna have a little break and scroll, but most importantly, upload my Instagram stories of everything I've done so far for the day. I like to upload my Instagram stories in batches. It's 
time for my next work block of the day before I get ready to have some lunch. So right now I'm doing my Skillshare class. Now I have actually been taking the ChatGPT learning path on Skillshare because I don't know if you guys watched the Prepping for New Year's Eve vlog on this channel where I was kind of creating my list of what I wanted to learn and do throughout the new year and ChatGPT came up as one of them and I was so confused about it but Skillshare has given me so much more clarity on it. But today, I've decided to take a step away from this learning path for now because I discovered a new one, which is this supercharge your productivity with Notion. This is another learning path, which basically is a group of classes that are meant to be taken in order, like one after another, because as you go through this list of classes, all of the lessons that are taught in them kind of build up upon each other and it helps you retain the information much better rather than just searching for one class video on Skillshare. So I've actually been preferring learning paths a lot more. There's so much information to absorb, so I always make sure I'm making notes. I'm just having a look through these classes right now and I am obsessed because there's one very specific class on Notion for creatives. So I love that, one for Notion for beginners. If you watched my recent main channel video, which was my favorite apps for productivity, then you'll know the concept of a second brain. And this is when you use your phone, your laptop, a software like Notion. So every single day, you don't have to think. You already have everything you need laid out right in front of you and all you have to do is take action. Skillshare is the largest online learning community with literally thousands of classes for you to learn whatever you want which are all led by industry pros on anything from creativity, illustration, graphic design, video editing, marketing, social media management. And because I'm all about self-education and investing in yourself, and since we're right at the beginning of 2024, I think you guys should get your very own Skillshare membership so that you can take your career, skills, or side hustle to the next level this year. And for that reason, I have a special discounted link in my description for you guys to use, but this is only available to the first 500 people who use it. I'm gonna spend about 30 to 45 minutes getting through these classes making some notes and trying to figure out how I'm liking Notion. Another work block complete and now my lunch is in the oven. It's gonna take about 15 minutes and in the meantime, I'm gonna batch a couple of TikTok videos. I've actually really been staying on top of my goal of being consistent with TikTok. My aim is to just post one video every single day on TikTok that's obviously self-development, inspiring, educational. I saw someone on this app say the reason that when you cut somebody off or break up with someone and you never run into them ever again, even if you live close together or you have mutual friends, is because that's the universe's way of saying that you are no longer in alignment to each other. Loads of people were asking, okay, but what happens if I cut someone off and I keep seeing them over and over again? And oh my God, let me tell you because this happened to me. I saw someone on this app say that when you cut someone off and you just stop running and you feel nothing you have no desire to allow that person to come back into your life because you finally recognize your worth and you finally learn the lesson oh yeah deep down that's the thing i don't think i believe in deep down Lunch is now ready, I have some ginger ale and then I actually meal prepped a bunch of veggies and a bunch of different foods that I could plate up together throughout the week and now I had like the last few random little bits so this isn't like the nicest lunch per se but it's still gonna be healthy so I have some couscous, some kidney beans from like this burrito bowl that I made and then some seasoned broccoli on the side. So I actually really need to go grocery shopping tomorrow but this will do for now. Right before I head out to do some more work in a cafe, I'm gonna make some time for my morning affirmations. These are oracle cards and I have had these for many, many years. I don't even think these are available, like these exact ones to buy anymore. As you can see, they're like very worn out. 
It's a deck of cards that will give you accurate and life-affirming readings for your day, if that's something you believe in, if you're spiritual. The card I got yesterday was to be honest with yourself and the meaning that I read was super, super accurate. So the first step is to knock on the top of the deck three times, eyes closed, and just try to completely clear your mind or think about what you want answers to and be super clear and intentional about it so that you can erase any of the energy that was left from the last time these cards were used. And then you just shuffle the cards until you're ready and then pick them out. Please don't judge my shuffling skills, okay guys? I'm the worst card shuffler ever. I just split the deck and then <laughs> do it like this and it's so bad. Acceptance, okay? Honestly, this is like one of my favorite self-love practices, like just sitting here on my own in the quiet because I, that this is such a good thing that just raises my vi vibration. It always makes me feel good after I've done it. It gives me some positive affirmations that I remember for the rest of the day. Fertility, never had that one before. That's very strange, but okay. <laughs> gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Okay, so these are the three cards I got. Gifts from God, Fertility, and Acceptance. And so now I'm going to go through the book to find what the meaning of these cards are. And yeah. Let go of tendencies to force things to happen and you'll receive your desired or better outcome more peacefully. When one door closes, another one opens. Okay, guys. So I think this is a good time to tell you what I was thinking about. I didn't know what intention I wanted to think about today, but then I just glanced at my vision board up there. Um which you know my biggest intention for the year is to just become more financially abundant okay fertility this card signifies that it's a very fertile time for you there is an ideal time for the conception of a baby or new projects big on the new projects guys um all of the doors are open for you right now yes we love to see it i was thinking about money financial abundance this is what i like to hear your mind is fertile with many wonderful new ideas and abundance easily flows to you there is, I think, a hundred and something cards in each of these decks. Not everything is about abundance. Like um, the other day I got one about being more in nature and getting out of the house, which was hilarious because I'd been in the house all week long. Right now, the answers to your prayers await your willing receptivity. Open your arms to these gifts. Your creator wills that you be happy, healthy, secure, and that all your needs will be provided. Release any fears of receiving to me mad how all of these ended up linking together and basically giving me the exact same meaning in different forms like one of these cards you said fertility but it was still about projects and new ideas and i'm working on like, i'm actually working on really big things right now and i'm actually in the middle of a big project that nobody knows about so that was insane acceptance like not overworking myself just focusing on the manifestation give some god the fact that things are coming and now I'm going to quickly pack my bag, get out of the flat and do a four hour time block in a cafe. And then straight from the cafe, I'm going to go to the restaurant for dinner at 5 p.m. to meet my friend, have a nice girly dinner and then come back home to film a video. You guys aren't going to see that because this is just a morning vlog. So I am going to end it here with me just going to the cafe. So I hope you enjoyed it.